Okay, there we are. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Sorry about that little blip there. Uh, I don't keep my microphone, which is right here, plugged in to the computer when I'm not streaming or recording because uh, it takes up a lot of the desk. I don't have like an arm for it or anything. And uh, sometimes I plug it in and then I start OBS. It doesn't register the microphone. And usually I check before the stream to make sure that it's registered and I forgot this time. And then when I went to unmute the microphone, it... Uh, it wasn't there. <laughs> I don't want you all to have to deal with listening to me speak over my webcam microphone. Uh, it would be bad. So, um, hello to Super the Underdog, Go Go Fox, Richard Hendricks. Welcome. I hope you're all still here. I hope I haven't lost you all. I appear to be streaming. I don't have any drop frames. So, hey, Jenks. Jank Jenks. Is Jenks all right as a shortened, a, a shortened version of that? Or should I say Jank? What do you, what do you prefer? Or should I say the whole thing? And then you get to watch me stumble over my words. Uh, who's online, by the way? Oh, we got whole, we got loads of folks online. Lothag, Asteriol, Yar the Tiger, Pixel, Pixel Grim, and Jank Janks. Awesome. Um, I am in the market cave, the mushroom market, which I think the last time... Janks is good? All right, cool. cool. That's easy to say. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, I think the last time I streamed, last week I, I... I don't even remember what happened. I think I was ill or something. Um... Uh, last time I streamed, I think I was just planning this out, and like, I don't think I've shown the, the completed marketplace on stream, so this is it. I chiseled out, uh, with some glowing creative blocks, some, some, oh, I meant to rename these, actually, and I forgot. <laughs> Luminous Milky Blue Class. But, these are, uh, one, one of the lovely things about this game. That's vanilla. That's vanilla right there. The glowing blocks? Oh no, wait, no. No. That's not true. It's the glowing glass, which is modded. This is from uh, Bricklayers. There are glowing blocks, but they're not not—they're not transparent, and I wanted that semi-transparent look. I also put some of these firefly jars from uh, Primitive Survival, but unfortunately, they don't actually give off much light, and they are entities, and you can like push them around. They weren't doing a very good job of keeping the cave safe. So I decided to put a few lanterns. I don't want too many lanterns because I wanted I want it to be kind of moody in here. So I put some lanterns. There's lanterns in, up on the ceiling. Uh, by the way, I went with purple heart for the logs, not just because I like the purple wood, but because the sides of it look kind of... I want like a better lit spot here. Pretty good. The, the sides of the logs have sort of a, a look that could... It could be sort of like mossy or like fungus coverage, whereas the other logs really don't have that, so that's, I thought they would be the best fit in here. And there's just mushrooms all over the place. Uh, I'm not a great builder, but when I have creative mode and I can, I have access to stuff that I wouldn't have access to in survival mode. Hey, Rufty! Uh, I can make some alright looking stuff. 69k pain. <laughs> nice. So, what do we got? It is end of June. Good lord. People have been on this server almost non-stop. That's not a complaint, by the way. I'm so happy so many people are enjoying it. Uh, 1.30 in the afternoon, so let's, let's go out, let's go out into the... Oh, by the way, we've got... Uh, if anyone is on the server, and they want to set up a, a market stall, please do. Please do. We've got the Vinconomy mod, which I think is really cool. All these spots are available. I believe Asteriol and Sun is setting up here, but they have not yet built anything yet. But, yeah, this is, this is my little, little mushroom cave. Uh, and we're out in the air. In the sunshine. So I like that I can place the the mushrooms in creative mode. You can't do that in survival mode, which is very sad. I wish you could. I wish there were a way to do that. But if anyone is confused, by the way, this is my patron server, community server. Uh, everyone is welcome to join in. It's it's only a dollar per month just to keep the server costs covered and to keep it from being a public server that I would have to moderate. It would be a little bit difficult. Um, so all the people who are on here are part of my community. I am not playing in survival mode because I simply do not have the time. Basically, these streams are the only time I get to come on here a lot of the time. Uh, I'm managing to jump on now and then in creative mode, and I'm acting as sort of a... Um, almost like a GM. So I'm orchestrating little quests and missions and stuff like that for people to do. And that's, that's what I'm doing on the server. Um, someone, and I still have yet to find out who... You just have the offline window? Oh, I had to, I had to, somebody let, uh, Asteriolis Richard Hendricks know that, uh, 
I had to restart the stream briefly at the start, so anyone who was in here and uh, not... Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Rufty. Thanks for the plug. Appreciate it. Uh, anyone who was in here at the very start may have missed. I had to restart the stream because I had a microphone problem. So, uh, yeah, just in case. There we go. That should, that should do it. Um, so, I don't know who, and I would love to know who. I'm not, like, I, no, no one's in trouble or anything. I'm excited that somebody explored this and found stuff. However, I don't know who it was, and I want to know who it was. Uh, they also stripped most of it for parts, as I can see. They left all the clutter. Maybe somebody can come get, get the clutter out of here. I don't know if maybe somebody's planning to come and repair it and then take it once they have glue. But it's, it's just kind of a mess right now. It's a floating mess. But there was a hidden area right here. This was all covered with marble chiseled tiles, and there were some... Uh, uh, what are they called? These things. Locusts guarding it, and then there was a bush growing over the entrance right here. Kind of tried to set up this place to look like some people kind of made their last stand here. And then one person... Jenks, it was you! You killed the locusts. Okay, did you explore down here? Are you the one who found the secrets? Everyone is welcome to, to rip these, these ruins to pieces for parts if they want to, or restore them, or rebuild them, whatever you want to do with them. I just, I want to know, I want to know who it was. I want photos, I want, I want, uh, people to, to share. So, in this, in this, uh, chest right here, there was a journal along with some, some little bits of loot. Um, which, uh, explained, or it had the hint, I, I said in the, at the very start of the server, there's a hint somewhere at spawn of where the houses are. The player houses were found pretty quickly anyway. But there was a book in here that explained that people went west, or they followed the sun, which was the hint that they went west. And then there was a brick block here, a mud brick block, which is uh, conspicuous in here. And behind that, there was a vessel which contained some more loot. And some of the loot was uh, the materials that you would need if you wanted to build a Sammy, as we call them, the Night Watcher. It doesn't have to be used for that, but that's uh, what I had in mind when I put that there. So. Anytime you guys find any secrets or stuff, that's awesome. Please share, because that's my my favorite uh, thing about putting this stuff together for you folks, is uh, getting to see you enjoying it, basically. I can't watch the server 24 hours a day. So this one, this one didn't have a teleporter. I'm looking to see, like, uh, oh, somebody's building something over here. Builds here. Oh, right, this is the... All right, we'll, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. I know what that is. On the loot behind the mud brick. Ah, okay. Yes, that ruin was built by me. All, all the ruins that spawn, except for uh, the windmill and the buildings over here, which are from better ruins, by the way. I was corrected. I uh, mistakenly thought that those were some of the new vanilla ruins. They're not. These were the better ruins, which explains why they were so, aw so awesome. Um, been offline for several in-game months, only prepare for <laughs> this alcohol. <laughs> oh, sorry, little thing. Um... By the way, if anyone is not aware, there's um, uh, a mod on here that stops food in your inventory from spoiling when you're offline. That was the kind of compromise I decided to go with. Because on the one hand, if I make it so food lasts a really long time, then food we wind up with mountains and mountains of food that never goes bad, and there's no reason to preserve anything. Uh, on the other hand, if I... Uh, don't extend the shelf life of stuff, then people log back in and all their food is rotten because some people have been really active and some people are not. A lot of time passes. So the compromise I went for is there's a little mod that scans your inventory when you log in, and if any of the slots in your inventory have, like, a decay factor, it, like, sets it back. So nothing in your inventory should, uh... Don't mix food from your offline inventory back into normal foods. It will insta-rot. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> Thank you for that that heads up. I did not know that. So yeah, if anyone is concerned that they won't be online for very long, um, or, or that there'll be a long time where they won't be online and they're worried about not having any food when they log back in, um, you can keep stuff in your inventory. And also, I believe somebody was planning to, I don't know if it's happened yet, somebody's planning to make an expedition north into a frozen part of the world. Oh no, I need to sneeze. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not gonna happen. It's just horrifying to have this happen on camera. Oh, man. 
All right, I think it's gone for now. It'll probably sneak up on me later. Um, if anyone wants to make a food storage area like in the frozen north, then stuff will basically not rot there. And if you put it by a teleporter, then everybody can easily get there and stash food. So that's two ways that you can keep your food fresh. It's either by putting it somewhere really, really cold, which even on tops of some of these mountains, it gets it stays pretty cold. So even that will help. Um, or uh, keep it in your inventory when you log out, and it shouldn't it shouldn't go bad. So I just want to inspect and see what's been done here. I think some of the clutter maybe has been cleaned up. Doesn't look like any of the uh, translocators have been repaired yet. Oh, I'm wrong. One of them has. All right. Oh, it says what it, where it teleports to now. That's cool. I don't think it did that before. Two have been. Goodness. Oh, yeah. There it is. There's a second one. Nice. I tried to make different kind of buildings and I uh, for these, these little translocators. And I had in mind that, you know, you could... Once you know where they're going, maybe you could decorate them or put signs you know, just to, like, show the, the biome that you're going to. I was planning on doing that, actually, when I was playing, and then I realized I probably wasn't going to get the chance to play very much. So, you don't have to do that. It's just a thought. Uh, all the player houses have been moved or copied. Oh, oh, we got more chat. Sparrow? Does that include hides? I believe it does. Hey, Captain Dysphoria. Hello, Sparrow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I tend to forget, I just got this, I've said this before, this is a teeny tiny little window with the chat, the, ch the Twitch chat in my uh, OBS. So, um, I tend to miss stuff. I gotta go over there and look now and then. Yay, little thing made it back in. So we've got uh, the player houses have all been moved here. I pretty much just plopped them down wherever. I don't know if anyone wants to put them together. Everyone's got these lovely little builds, I love them. This is my, my little, little janky thing. Rhythmic. I brought, uh, I brought Josh over from the old server. Thought Josh needed to come with us. And, oh, we've got figs. Fruiting ripe in about 4.6 days. Very nice. Doesn't look like the apple tree fertilized this year. I was really hoping it would. Oh, we got some dead cuttings. <laughs> Still drunk. If anyone wants to give Lothag some food, got Yar the Tiger here. Wait, didn't I see Yar the Tiger move, uh, log out? I don't remember now. Got the tiger left. Did not log back in, so I believe this is a ghost. Ooh, spooky tiger. Um, but yes, we have everybody's lovely little builds. <laughs> Look at how many peas you guys have got here already. I believe this is uh, Noit Noitus. Noits. Still, oh, hello. He's got a pet. Hacked bronze locust. Everyone's got this lovely builds. Okay, so we've checked in. You're gonna say you just have this teeny, tiny bit of ADHD. That is also true. I took, um, funny thing about ADHD, about my meds, uh, as anyone who has ADHD is probably already aware, there's like an international shortage of methylphenidate right now. Hello, what are you? What was that? Is that just a particle? I saw like a spider or a cockroach running around or something. Anyway, um, yeah, there's like an international shortage, not because we don't have the, the means to create it, but because uh, uh, like the U.S. government has control over production and has set the laws limiting how much production there can be, and uh, even though doctors all over the world are like, hey, it's not enough, you need to make more, we don't have enough for all the people who need it, uh, the U.S. government or whoever is specifically in charge of that, welcome back here, the tiger, um, is like, no, we don't want people to have that because uh, we hate when people get the medication they need. I guess. Um, so, at the moment, in some countries you can't get it at all. Right now, here in the country where I live, um, you can get Ritalin. Uh, we don't have any other alternative stimulants for ADHD, by the way. Ritalin is the only one. If Ritalin doesn't work for you, or if it's out of stock, you're screwed. There's nothing you can do. They don't have Adderall here, or any of the other ones. Um, so, Ritalin is available, but when I take Ritalin, I get a lot of side effects. And... Uh, so I take Concerta, which is slow-release methylphenidate. It's the same chemical, but it's slow-release, and then I, I get the benefits without the side effects. And I managed to refill. I got two more months' worth uh, last week. My psychiatrist agreed with me, because I was, I was saying that I think I probably need a higher dose, because the current dose is not really working, even though I took, like, a little vacation from it. You made the dirt hovel yard the tiger? Oh, is this yours? No, wait. Where are you? Show us. 
get you on the screen um, while I finish my little story. Uh, so he said, yeah, you do, you, you can, we can try a higher dose and see if it works better. I tried taking two pills and it helps better, but it's really rough on my stomach. So he was like, well, we can just get the next higher dose of pills and then you won't be double dosing, you won't run out twice as fast, and it should be less harsh on your stomach. So there's 18 milligrams is the, the lowest dose, which is what I've been taking. And then they double it and it's 36 milligrams is the next highest dose. Um, so he gave me a prescription for two months of the lowest dose, and I'm not sure if it's one or two months of the higher dose, just so that I would be stocked up. When I went to the pharmacy, they had the lower dose, they didn't have the higher dose, it's not coming in until May. And they were like, you can try another uh, place, another pharmacy. So I, there's a search tool online that searches the biggest pharmacies in the country. And one of them had the 36 milligram, but it was already the evening and they were already closed. So I was like, all right, tomorrow I'm going to across the city, other end of the city. I'm going to go to the hospital. Uh, and it's a long walk from like the tram stop to the hospital pharmacy because I've been there before. I was like, whatever, I'll do what I have to do to get it. Yeah, there's two of you there. You are the tiger. <laughs> You got a you got a doppelganger, um, and by the next day I was getting ready to go, and I was like, I'll just double check, and I searched again, out of stock, completely gone, and the lowest dose is also now out of stock. So I was just in time to get enough to last me the next two months, on the lowest dose, which is not really enough for me. It's it helps, but it's not it's not quite enough. Um, oh, is this you over here? Okay, cool. I'll follow you on the t you are the tiger for a second. So what I'm having to do now is oh look at that you planted all the cranberries i love cranberries very nice little little starter hovel i like that well done um for now i'm taking the lowest dose i could take it twice a day or double the amount that i'm taking so that i get the higher dose but then i would run out twice as fast and they won't restock before i run out so what I'm having to do is take 18 milligrams in the morning, and then in the afternoon when it starts kind of slowly wearing off, I take a tablet of Ritalin, which does give me a lot of side effects, but it helps enough that I can keep functioning. So that's that's what I've been up to. <laughs> that's how things are over here. Uh, yeah. So if any of anyone watching has any influence over the US government, whatever department it is that determines how much methylphenidate is made, um, I don't know, go kick someone in the nuts or something, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> like, my friend needs his pills. At least the Ritalin is still available. So, oh, look at these. They got like decorations on them. Getting ADHD meds in the U.S. is exactly what an evil genius would do to torture ADHD patients. Yeah, it's even worse. There. At least it's, well, it's hard to find a specialist here who's taking new patients. Currently, the waiting list for my doctor is over a year just for the initial appointment because the whole system here is breaking down for very complicated reasons I'm not going to get into right now, and I don't fully understand anyway. Um, oh, that's the Easter egg. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Um... But at least once you get a diagnosis, which isn't that hard to get, you just have to get in somewhere with someone who is like specialized and knows how to diagnose it, then getting the meds is very easy. They don't like, the insurance doesn't pay for it if you're an adult because they still have the idea that ADHD is only for children. Um, but, uh, so I have to pay for it, but it's not that expensive, certainly not compared to what it would cost in, in the States. Um, Take, I'm gonna take a, this here. So this is, but yeah, it, it's getting, even even a general practitioner can die, can uh, prescribe Ritalin. And I have a friend who couldn't get in to see a psychiatrist, so he doesn't have a proper diagnosis, but at least he got the Ritalin from his GP because it was obvious that he needed it. So it's not that hard to get the meds here. It's just that there aren't enough of them. And we've had shortages of so many medications. I actually read a, a news article today that said um, uh, they're gonna start producing penicillin in this country within the next, hopefully within the next few years. They're starting to like open up production factories for medications here because we've had so many constant shortages because everything's imported from other countries and for various reasons, we're just not getting enough of like, when you go to get a prescription filled at the pharmacy, even a very common, normal, ordinary, widespread medication, there's like a 50-50 chance that it will be out of stock and won't be back in stock for months. Which, you know, for ADHD meds, I can't function without my meds. Um, there was a period of time where 
you couldn't get uh, Sustanon, which is the injectable testosterone that I have to take once every three weeks. Couldn't get it for months and months and months. Um, fortunately, my doctor had like a stockpile of it, so I was able to go to her and she was able to give it to me for a few months until it finally came back in stock. But that was very worrying, because if I run out of that, all kinds of horrible things will happen. So, yeah. Um, I blame capitalism. Anyway, Sturial and and Son and maybe Jimmer Beber, please let me know for sure who exactly we have to thank for this very cool uh, canal, which is being made. Of course, it's getting dark now. But we've got the... Oh, boy. We've got the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, primitive survival rafts. Sturial, Jimmer Beber, and Frostbrand. Awesome. Well done, the three of you. So they've built this awesome canal. You can even see it on the map. I'm just going to go back into first person here. These move way faster than the vanilla rafts, and they move faster than swimming. This is how the primitive survival raft works. They're different from the vanilla rafts. The vanilla rafts, you have to place in the water, and then you have to hold an oar in your hand or your offhand. And they don't move any faster than swimming. In fact, I think they may move slower than swimming. So the only benefit of those is that you don't get wet. Your apples are still not ready. I'm so sorry, Sparrow. What a tragedy. But, uh, kind of bounces you around a little bit, doesn't it? This is very cool. Like, they dug a tunnel straight through, through a mountain. Sure. Why not? <laughs> the players that we've got on here... Like, it, it's a good thing I'm not really playing in survival mode, because... Like, you'd all be blowing me away. I wouldn't be doing much of anything. Water placement physics is weird. Oh, this... <laughs> <laughs> it's a locust in the in the canal. It's a hacked one, right? I'm guessing that that's probably from one of the uh, teleporters that has the uh, NPC trader and the locusts there. <laughs> Ignore the crustaceans. There's third person mode. Yeah, F5. F5 to, to go over the shoulder. And then if you hit F5 again, it frees the camera. Okay, maybe not while you're on a raft. And then F5 again, puts you back in first person. Yeah. There's also a... I think you have to be in creative mode to use it. But there's a... a cinematic camera that you can use where you can set points along a line and then run... and it'll run like a script and it will just, like, take you, like, on a real nice curvy path along, so you can do, like, cinematic, uh, um, like, panoramas, not panoramas, like panning shots over your builds, or go through things, and, like, I use that for the, um, oh god, it was ages ago now, when we had the winter building competition, the official VS event, I haven't done one of those in a long time, I'm sorry everyone, I have too much life happening, and no time. Um, wee. <laughs> but I use that to, to take the video of the different builds that people made. I think if we go down this way, canal continues. Another little bit over here. Getting dark. Oh no, I need, I need to hold it in my hand. Okay, hold on, hold on. Offhand. Nope. Offhand. There we go. <laughs> this doesn't help very much, does it? Oh, we've got it lit up. Good. We'll get lost. We might have to sleep through the night. Otherwise, it's going to be dark out for the next, like, 40 minutes. Well, not 40 minutes. 30 minutes? To say... Doesn't say anything. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Here? Yes. Gosh, it gets dark so fast. Woo! <laughs> Doing jumps on my jet ski. <laughs> and there we are. Now, I believe Cesvain Castle is nearby. Uh, is Jimmer Beber online today? No, it's not online. That's a shame. Uh, and we're all my various waypoints. Yeah, let's, let's go. We'll take a peek at Cesvain. So this was the castle which... Um, Jemrebeber and Asturial, I believe, and, and maybe uh, around its base a little bit. And I don't know who else. We're working on, this is based on a real castle in 
um, Latvia, right? Which is where John Berber lives. And I set up a little quest for them to import the castle from our previous server, where they were building it, into this server so they wouldn't lose all of their hunting pals, okay? They wouldn't lose all of their um, hard work and progress. You get the chance to actually finish it. Well, their funeral scythe. It does appear to be your first dream, or at least your first chat. Welcome. You need to build a long foom rhyme. Yeah, that would be great. So here we go. This incredible build. This is all built by hand. This is not my doing. This is all built by the players in survival mode. The amount of mining you have to do of rare rocks to get this mixed dry stone alone is bananas. Um, and then all this is orange clay, which is from... Uh, What's the name of it? Bricklayers. And they had to make by hand all the orange shingles, which I heard was a tremendous amount of work. Not surprised to hear that. Uh, it's absolutely glorious. There were a few things that are missing because they were based on mods that we no longer have installed. So a few items got lost, but I think nothing major. But we, we looked at this place at the end of the last server, but it's still just so amazing. I'm truly blown away. The bears made it over, the chiseled bears. Uh, Waddle and Daub is one of the blocks we no longer have, but fortunately it seems that if you have a texture that the game doesn't have anymore, it will just replace it with, like, cobblestone. So you can swap out the materials for something else now. At your leisure. But yeah, this place is massive, it's gorgeous, uh, they're still working on it even more. I'm blown away. Oh, we got a wolf head. That's new. Very, very cool. We're not going to tour the whole place. <laughs> um, let me jump back to spawn. It is very, very cool. And huge kudos to the folks who are building that. Uh, should we maybe maybe take a little, a, little, a little nap? A little sleepy poo? I can throw down a bed right here. Just going to... In case anybody's not watching the stream, I don't know if everyone is. Just because it would uh, it would make for a much better stream if we could actually see what we're doing, I think. Hmm. And then we'll go and see what other things people have built. So we've seen the canal, we've seen Sesvane Castle, and I want to go and visit the people who are online and see their bases. Good night. We missing. Not everybody. Oh, wait, Lothek? Lothek. In bed. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I think I'll probably be falling through the world. I have discovered the hard way. Seeing is pretty useful, Elder Road. Also, hi. Uh, if you if you sleep in a bed while you have collision turned off while you're flying, you will wake up falling through the world. Okay, I guess I had collision on still. So... Um, I copied that, right? I didn't take one that was there. Let's make sure. Speed up. Whee! Yes, okay. Uh, alright, let's go... Sturiel, are you at your base? I'm going to... Let's maybe slow down a little bit. Uh, shocking absolutely nobody. These two. Completely bananas. Uh, I don't know how... Two human people, if you are human at all. I'm starting to have my doubts. <laughs> How you gather so much. Now I know that the Better Ruins mod does add a lot more loot in the ruins, and a lot bigger and nicer ruins in general. Procedural dungeons, okay. But like, goodness gracious. These two. It was the same on the old server. I am consistently blown away. This is this is a kiln for pottery, right? Because the steel one has two grades. Just at the moment, mostly just a chaotic mess of all of your loot, but it does look like it's all quite organized. Stick bottles. Just oh my god! Look at all the Jonas parts. Just and this is this is a stack of aged torch holders. We got two Sammies here, two Sammies on guard. Nothing's gonna spawn here. Just utterly, utterly ridiculous. Um, wow. Alright, let's... 
Damage for 40 gears apiece. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna start... Jumping, jumping around and uh, jump scaring people a little bit. You just start playing Vengeance Story again. Yes, you do. Everyone does. Play on a server with us. It's it's nice. Um, so if I suddenly appear in front of your face, don't worry about it. Uh, low fag. Oh, we got two low fags. Oh, low fag is making an oven. Very nice. Hello. So where are we here? Right. Oh. Full frame drop. Mostly been offline. And this is... Is this... Jenks also up here? Are the two of you... Are the two of you rooming? Ro roomies? I feel like... Or am I misremembering? I love I love the building style of these. You're alone up here. Okay. This is Lothag. Jenk, Jenks, where is your base? I know it was over in this direction somewhere. Oh, I love this well. Look at that. And that's not even chisel. That's just very creative use of the roofing corners. I love that. Using the inner corners. Oh, that's so clever. Lothag has always been an incredible chiseler. And just general uh, decorator. Using the blocks that we have to make incredible things. The foot of the same mountain. Okay. Oh, look. We got, we've already got a lovely little fireplace. Gorgeous. All right. Um, foot of the mountain. Thought you were over in this direction somewhere. Can we spot you on the map? Is that you there? This way? Speed up a little bit. Aha! I see a player! Hello, Jenks! Oh, lovely garden. I'm always so afraid when I'm flying around in creative mode. I gotta keep my fingers off of the mouse buttons. Everyone does. This person doesn't have time to play. I don't have time. It's not my fault. Because if I accidentally uh, left click on something, I will destroy it forever. Very, very nice. Lots of trees. Fruit trees. Chestnut trees. Ooh. Oh, we got... We got uh, rifts opening up. Having a few frame drops here and there, I suspect... Ooh, ripe fruit on the chestnut trees. You should harvest these, because they don't they won't last for very long. Uh, these are only ripe for one more day. Somebody's going to want to harvest all these. Usually, uh, once picked, fruit from fruit trees tends to last a while. But you, you only get like a few days to pick it. And then it disappears. So I highly recommend checking your fruit trees as often as you can when they're close to being in season. Some of these only last two days. Oh, you were complaining about the peaches, yeah. Can I put jank, jank, janks here. <laughs> peaches suck. I'm sure we're getting everybody's. I don't have everybody's bases yet. All right. I would, I would, I would play all the time if I had the time. I don't! Okay, let's teleport to Pixelgram. Pixelgram, I'm coming for ya. Oop, don't mind me. Sorry, sorry. Hello, hello. Oh, lovely little uh, stone hut here. Oh, look at the. I love when people use mixed building materials. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Where are we? I do not have you. I don't have a waypoint. Pixelgram. We are to the northwest of spawn here. Oh, look at this. That's a support beam. Oh, oh, we've got yet another builder. Oh, look at that. The lattice of the support beams on the roof. Wow. Okay. Okay. Some farms. Ah, I see. So this was this was a ruin and you've you've uh rebuilt it. I recognize this little bit of path. One of the ruins. Plenty of pottery cooking away. Very nice. I'm not sure if Pixelgram is actually watching the stream or is just very confused as to why I'm flying around their base. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Just taking a peek. Very nice. All right. Um, 
Mushroom, are you at a base? You're the only one I haven't... Oh wait, we gotta visit Sparrow as well. Hello, Mushroom! Is this your base? Also to the northwest. Go. That lovely little little dirt starter base. Actually quite nice things in here for a starter base. <laughs> yeah, um I I uh I usually when I log onto the server, I make a little chat message saying heads up everyone I'm streaming, and I did not think to do that this time. <laughs> Get this framework. I'm looking forward to coming back like week after week and just seeing how people's bases evolve. Okay, I think who else is online? There's one more person. Oh, Sparrow, of course. Sparrow, I'm coming to visit. Whoop. Don't mind me. Oh my goodness. Barrels. You can it's maple syrup. Oh, lots of rot. Ooh, lovely, lovely cobblestone ovens. That's right, you were trying to make the big the big oven. This is the uh, the stone bake ovens, which is such a cool mod. It lets you bake way more stuff at once. Lots of seeds. Ooh, butterflies. Oh, I did not put the mod on that makes the butterflies stay alive when you catch them. Uh, mostly because, apparently, <laughs> no worries, Pixel. I don't know if you're watching now, but it's my bad for not uh, reminding everyone that I was streaming. Bunch of berries. Interesting. Um, apparently, uh, the reason having mods causes this game to get so RAM hoggy to the point where we have crashes when the server runs out of memory and I have to restart the server four times a day um, it has now been explained by one of the developers that when mods add items to the game, when the, the game starts up, it like loads all of the models or every single item into the active memory, <laughs> even the items you're not using. So that's why it's such a ram hog. So any mods that add a bunch of items are adding more and more and more and more and more to the ram use. So that's why the modded servers are running out so fast. Um, and that may be why your games are stuttering sometimes. It's a little frustrating. So I kind of, I, I really tried to cut back. Uh, does that mean they're working on that? That's a great question, Spud. Um, I wasn't taking part in this. Let's, let's watch Sparrow for a bit while I explain what I know, which is not everything by any stretch of the imagination. Um, maybe we should consider removing vanilla variants. I mean, we could do that, but then every vanilla variant block that's in use right now, when there's a lot of them, would be replaced by the question mark block. So if we removed anything now, it would break stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, it was Tells, I believe, that we have to thank for this information because uh, we were confused about what was happening and Tells linked to a somebody who was making a bug report on the official Vintage Story server um, complaining that the game was crashing and using way too much RAM for what it was doing. And one of the developers came in and said, well, it's because you're using too many mods. They said, okay, well, you advertise this game as being modding friendly and encourage people to make mods. And then you say, well, don't use too many mods. What, you know, what's, what's the deal? Why is it causing that problem? And they explained that when new items are added to the game, they're all loaded into the RAM. And so it uses up all the RAM really fast. And uh, the response was like, so are you going to, you going to fix that? And the response seemed to be kind of, uh, they, they didn't seem to be planning to work on that at all, but uh, several people were complaining, <laughs> so hopefully, um, hopefully they're working on it. But, or hopefully the fact that so many people were like, come on, like, come on. <laughs> you gotta find a better way to do this. I think Tells left some suggestions, and yes, round of applause for Tells. Tells is the creator of Bricklayers and uh, Taylor's Delight, which we now have on here. Um, Tells posted a, a very eloquent response. Uh, saying, like, you know, you encourage people to make mods, you make it very easy to do this, and then you tell us not to do them. You can't really have it both ways. Like, you should... And, and suggested several ways to potentially fix this problem going forward. 
Um, it was all coding stuff that was over my head, but um, I think the link to that, um, I think the link to that conversation is somewhere in our Discord posted by Tells to a bug reports thing. So um, if you wanna, if you wanna see what was said there, because uh, Spud, you would definitely understand it way better than I do. But the the impression I got was more items means lots and lots and lots of stuff, and not just one, it was like two different models for every item or something constantly being held, so, yeah. But, informs us which mods to watch out for on things the game itself causes to lag. Still mods that are just majorly inefficient. Yes, that's true, of course. But it does explain why, when I add stuff like a culinary artillery, um, even in single player, on my beast of a computer, I was having some stuttering and lag. Uh, when I was looking at the inventory. So if we look at a culinary artillery, like it's got all these different models. And they're all very pretty. I, I do find it a little bit frustrating sometimes that it doesn't say what the wood types are. So if you build a bottle rack out of two different materials, and then you want to make another one later that lets the, that like expand your, your wine cellar or whatever, you have to guess what materials you used and hope that you get the right colors. It's a little bit easier now that we don't have wildcraft trees. When we had wildcraft trees, it was even harder. So, also means the fact that you reuse textures and models for our custom freezing mod. Probably save resources. Hey! <laughs> I accidentally did it good. Hurrah! Anyway, that is um, what I have been told. I hope they're going to work on that. I also hope they're going to work on the weather. I definitely said this on Discord. I don't know if I said this on stream. Our weather is broken. I probably spent like two hours just sitting and testing this um, a few days ago, and I have concluded, so warning to anyone who is playing anything in creative mode, setting up a server, whatever, this slider right here, the rain slider, the second you touch it, you break the weather system in the game, and it cannot be fixed. Um, if you move this slider, which when I was creating this world, I turned the rain off, so I turned the slider all the way down to the left, um, so that I could see, because it's very foggy when it's raining. And then I unchecked this box that says override default values, so it should reset it to the normally changing weather patterns. It doesn't. It doesn't turn back on. Um, with a lot of, um, excuse me, with a lot of testing, I managed to figure out that if I change the slider, don't untick the box, log out or leave the world, including in single player, log back in or reload the world and then untick the box, it will lock the rain level to whatever I put it at and enable the clouds. Whereas if I don't log out and I untick the box, the clouds won't even load in. You'll just have the rain. So I've set the server to a permanent light rain as it was the only thing that seemed fair. Like we don't want constant thunderstorm, but we also don't want a drought as people's crops are um, drying out and stuff. So it's permanently light rain, including in the desert. There's literally nothing I can do about it. I sent in a bug report five days ago. It was acknowledged by the person they have managing their issue tracker and given the tags new and code, um, and no one has touched it since then. I've seen a bunch of other bug reports come in and immediately get flagged with like confirmed, working on it, priority level set. They haven't touched mine. So I really hope they do because it really sucks that our weather is just broken. Um, I like the rain too, but we want it to be raining sometimes, dry sometimes. We want thunderstorms sometimes. We'll never have thunderstorms unless I set it to permanent thunderstorms. Um, it's really annoying. And when I was trying to figure this out and I thought I had it fixed, I had the rain inadvertently set to maximum and the clouds turned on. And that was what the weather was set at when poor Gemma Bever and Jenks were trying to do the quest that I left them. Um, what's this over here, by the way? We've got another house over here. Is this uh, Frostren? Look at this. Bones on the floor. Nice little shack. I hit by lightning with a metal scythe. Oh no! Oh, that's Holly! The little one or the big one or both? Frostren's the big one. Okay, so this little one is Holly. I want to make sure I have waypoints for everybody. I love how you have like a little, uh... oh yeah, I've already got the waypoint here. Little community. 
I love when people are neighbors and they, they live together. I also understand the desire to go off and have your own base out in the wilderness somewhere, but oh wow, look how many berries. So pretty. I know Frostren was having uh, trouble with goats. Oh, it looks like we've got some goats. Hey! Ready to mate? Ready to mate? Wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad that uh, the goats finally have been wrangled. The goats are just vanilla. Vanilla goats are nice too. Oh, wow, look at this under construction. Wow. Lots of cabbage. I love cabbage. Yes, it makes me gassy, but it's delicious, especially when you ferment it. All right, I think... Um... I think I have visited everybody who's online. Let me know if I forgot anybody. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do was show off the quest. Is there anybody who's online right now who would be interested in trying out the quest that I left for Jammer Beber and which Jammer Beber and Jenks um, snake jumped out of a bush and bit you? <laughs> oh no. Um, Guns already mentioned it's on the roadmap for a future version. Not a priority. Yeah, that's what. It, that's kind of the pressure that I got too. It sounds like they'll have to rework the way some stuff works, and that is hard, and they probably don't want to. We'd like to later. I was thinking of, uh, so we've got a little over an hour left. Um, so for the rest of the stream, I was going to show off the two quests. So the one that has been completed, but the stuff is still there, so people can still try it out. And the one that nobody has touched yet, which I would really, really love. I never get the chance to watch people do the little quests I make. So it would be so cool to watch people do that. An ACA trader. Do you have one? Have you found one? I have not seen one of those. Uh, they weren't working when I pre-generated 2,000 blocks in every direction, so they will only appear further away. All right, I'm, I'm going to teleport to you, Asterio. I'm, I'm coming to you first. Oh, you're right here. Okay. <laughs> I can, I can, um, it's, that's pretty far away. I'll teleport there. Is this it? This is a whole, this is a whole building. Whoa. Lots of planters. Hello. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Everything on display. Ooh, there's cheese in there. We should take that. Yes. Delicious. Oh, this is so cool. Talk to the trader in a second. I just want to peek around. Will it let you use... Um, I can't test it myself because I'm in creative mode, so it, it would override the... Uh, the settings. Oh! <laughs> That is a question mark block. Some texture we don't have. All right, hello. What do you sell? I mean, I think I think I know what you sell. Ooh, pretty bottles, bottle racks, the cast iron cauldrons, which you can't get any other way. I believe, actually, there is. Oh, I meant to say this. There is still one more secret hidden at spawn. As far as I'm aware, it has not been found yet. Um. And I will, I will give a little bit of a spoiler that, uh, and I believe this is the one I put it at, there is a cast iron cauldron up for grabs if you can find where it is hidden. So, steel cauldron, oh my gosh. 26 gears, that's pretty cheap actually. Oh, oh, and he pays well for the bottle racks and stuff too. A little bit overpowered, I think. What's your name? Olger. Uh... Yeah, put a waypoint there. Claiming is a bit wonky on what it lets you use and not use it. Ah, okay. Very nice. Is this the ruin you mean? That you took over to turn into a cold cellar? Is that a 
translocator right there. Oh, whoa, there's a huge ruin over here. Has this been raided already? Oop. Uh, what is it? Nope. Just a sec. Um, I can't remember the, the, the... Bear with me. I know this. I don't know why I'm blanking on it now. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Control F4. That was close. Okay. Where do you think we got all the meteor guy? Wow, look at this place. Still more. Still more Meteoric Iron here. Goodness gracious, there's loads! Why is this greenish? Is it just from the light from this? Okay. What does that setting do? Uh, it turns off, it toggles the, the meta blocks, like the spawners. I noticed that there was a spawner visible on the ruin and uh, did not intend to show those off. Okay, this is very cool. Thank you for letting me know. All right, I'm gonna come back to spawn. I'm gonna say anybody who wants to try out the Sesvain Castle quest, let's do that first, because I think a few people have already tried it. Oh, I'm missing chat again. I'm so sorry, folks. There's more than not wanting to, not knowing how to approach it, okay. Um. Anyone who wants to, come on up the hill, meet me at the base of the Obsidian Tower, we'll wait a few minutes, uh, anyone who wants to come and is on their way, just let me know in chat, so I don't, we won't start without you. Uh, why this tower is the start of the quest is, uh, it felt like it would be cool to have a random tower spring up at spawn, is basically what it came down to. I didn't really think to... Usually I try to come up with justifications for everything. Um, but I wanted to throw this together really quickly because I didn't have much time. And I was like... Uh, because it was mainly Jammerbeber, I think, who was excited to do this quest. And was asking, like, when will we be able to get the castle in? Um, and I thought he would appreciate climbing... First, starting off by climbing a, an obsidian tower. Rule of cool. Exactly. Um, watch the, Yeah, it's fine. Anyone who just wants to watch, I will basically follow the players... Um, keep in mind, I built this quest when there was no clouds, because I hadn't touched the weather in a while. Then I enabled the clouds at full density before, like, just after I told Jem and Bebra about the quest, and I was like, oh crap, it's not going to be possible to complete the quest with the clouds like this, so I had to add a lot more of, well, you can already see the first one of these trees, custom trees that I made. Me? Um, Ellis Barrel. Um, there were originally only a few of these, because you could see really far. And so... And they get up. Uh, I, I went back and just quickly added a whole bunch more so that they could be found in the fog. And now it would probably be really, really easy, because there's tons of them and you can... The, the, the really dense fog is now turned off. So... That's why there's so many. It was originally harder and then it turned out to be impossible. Uh, so there's a little bit of parkour here. Just a little bit. I'm not uh, especially good at, at doing parkour stuff. But I did test it, and, and it is possible to get up there with a bit of, bit of, uh, bit of skills. I'm gonna have... By the way, I haven't done a drink on stream in ages. I used to do that all the time, and I kind of ran out. This uh, was on sale at Lidl, which is a European uh, chain... Which People, people who live in Europe are probably familiar with. They have like a rotating stock, so they have certain things that are there all the time, and then they have things that they'll just sell for like a week, and then it disappears. And this is one of the things that's there this week. It's ice pop flavor, and it's just like a sports drink. It's like hydration. It's got like B vitamins in it and stuff. Usually, I don't go for that kind of stuff, but I wanted, I wanted to try something. Oh, you almost got there, Sparrow. You can do it. 
Uh, I just want to try something different, and it's actually pretty good. Usually I open these and drink them in the middle of the stream, but... <clears throat> Yay! Congrats! Uh-oh! There's danger up here! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you used to work a little and you hated that drink. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest with you, Jenks. I didn't like it at first. And it's kind of grown on me. The more I have of it. Obviously, uh, Sparrow, we're counting that as you having reached the top. But I am curious to see if, if folks can defeat the Guardian at the top of the tower here. I was quite proud of this, by the way. This little ladder right here is a chiseled ladder made using the QP's chisel tools mod. Aha! Thanks has got the strategy. Oh, it's fleeing! It's fleeing! You done frightened it. Yay! Jenks has defeated the creature. <laughs> the lower grind is the advantage. So in here, okay, it's still here. Uh, the clue is these materials and this book. Um, I'm, I'm going to take the book temporarily. Actually, you know what? I can copy the book because I'm in creative mode. Uh, so the book says, the key to Sesvain awaits, follow. So your clue is, is this here, which again, keep in mind, it was very, very foggy uh, when the quest was being started. So anyone else who wants to make it to the top, go right ahead. Is this everybody who said they were coming? Thanks to Stereo and we have Sparrow. Okay. First time I climbed up and saw what was inside. Didn't notice the custom trees? Ah. Oh. Stereo. Prove you can do it. This is the tricky jump here. Yes. Well done. I may have had a little too much fun chiseling out all the little spokes and stuff. Oh, so close! <laughs> I'll be honest, I was worried that I made this too easy, and seeing, um... Seeing folks have trouble getting up there actually makes me feel a little bit better. Because I'm so bad at parkour that I thought if I can do it, it's too easy. <laughs> The drink by streamers, waiting for the Foxfire drink. Wait, is this a drink by streamers, or are you, are you, you just mean, you just do it a bit? Definitely didn't miss the stream, X. We visited everybody's bases, everyone who's online anyway. And now we are going to do the, um, the quest for Sesvain Castle, which has been completed. And uh, it's a lot easier to do now. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Uh, Sparrow, are you gonna are you gonna rejoin us? Are you gonna come back, or are you all set? Because I think what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna turn the weather to the way it was when Jemmer Beber and Jenks were doing this the first time. So Jenks, you've already done this. Just made it back to spawn. Okay, great. You don't have to climb a tower again. We all saw that you can do it. I'm just just in case anyone's not watching the stream. Warning: gonna be foggy for a bit then I will set it back to how it is now. Alright. So. Temporarily. Oh no, I have to log out for this to work. Okay. Hold on a second, folks. I'm just going to disconnect and reconnect. This is the only way that this will work. Multiplayer. Jump right, right back on. This drink is, is made by streamers? Is it really? Is that a true thing? Most of the English on this is covered up with a big sticker and check. Prime Hydration UK Limited. Amsterdam, the Netherlands. There's two different countries on here. Okay. Here we go. Boom! Now this is what uh, Gemma Beber and Shanks were dealing with. Okay. Fog will lift when our heroes have completed their quest. <laughs> Just to make sure everybody is aware this is temporary. Alright folks, so you got your clue. 
Uh, I'm just gonna follow. <laughs> is Jenks like, oh no! It is some fog, yeah. I thought that this was... Um... Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Not having none of it. Uh, Logan Paul and KS, I don't know who they are. But they... I probably don't want to. I'm not sure if I if I wanted to know. It's oh, you had the fog to Oh, that's right, because you, you used the mod to disable the fog. So let's follow who's in the lead here. I think Asturial is way ahead, right? I don't know. So I thought that this fog was natural. I thought that I had fixed the weather and that this is just the way it was supposed to be. And it took a little while before I realized that even in the desert, it was rainy and foggy, and I was like, oh no, it's still broken. So, as you'll notice, and I had to add more trees and I had to add these stones to make it possible to complete the quest. Let's just jump down. If you're not sure which way to go, you can look at the stone. I'll, I'll run with the rest of you. Like some kind of normie. Like a player. Wait, I feel like... I've heard the name Logan Paul and not in a good context. Am I supporting like an awful person by buying this drink? I, it doesn't say anything on it about about streamers or, or anything like that. Oh, I suppose it, it could under the under the check. Hold on. Prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function. I mean, I think I read that and I was like, yeah, 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 I don't want to read this. With bold, thirst-quenching flavors to help you refresh, replenish, and refuel, Prime is the perfect boost for every endeavor. We're confident you'll love it as much as we do. Humbly, the Prime team. I mean, it's just a sweet drink with like electrolyte stuff in it and some vitamins added which probably don't even get absorbed by your body where are we going wolf oh no oh yeah that's right there's also uh, this is wolf country here are you escaping <laughs> ah. I think you're I think you're way in the lead there Sparrow should we let the others catch up Did we lose someone? We got Jenks, Sparrow. Where does Sturiel go? Did you give up on the quest? Oop. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, Jenks! What happened? Did you eat poisonous berries? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you gotta watch out, folks. You gotta watch out for the berries. There we go. Well in the lead now. Well, you can. I think you can look at the map and see where everybody's. Uh, but you have to be fairly close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow Sparrow. It's a dangerous quest we're on. Of course, Jenks, you've already done it once. Oh. <laughs> There's beasts. So many wolves, yeah. There sure are a lot of wolves around here. Dangerous quest. I'm going to try and keep up the leader here. God makes it impossible to see. Yes. The fog does make it a lot harder. 
The only reason I have the fog on now is so everyone can get the experience that, uh... The original quest... Questers... Had. We'll turn it back off after... After you've reached the end. Don't worry. Anywhere in command or on the server that lists out all the mods used. Uh, the one that walks you up one block is a client-side mod. I don't remember the name of it. Anyone remembers the name of it, drop it in chat, otherwise I can... put it in Discord after. Uh, it was one of the ones that we recommended for the Frozen Challenge. And I liked it, so I put it on for this as well. So that's not on the server, and you don't you don't have to have it on the server to use it. Lost the trees! Oh no! Sparrow! We've lost the rest of the group. On a mission. You can always, uh... Found them again, okay, great. Anyone who wants to can always peek over at the stream as well and see my coordinates if they're, if they're lost. Oop. Oh, that's not mine. Or died from fall damage on a branchy leaf block. Fascinating. So up here, the fog gets really impenetrable. Right, I'm gonna hang out a little bit here. See if the others will manage to catch up. There we go. That's Jenks. Maybe we'll wait on the on the top of the mountain for Sturiel to, to to catch up as well. But yeah. Once you get up here, it's real easy to lose your way. I'll stand by this tree. See Jenks coming, I believe. It is quite a trek. Hello! <laughs> Let's let a story all catch up as well. Seems a shame to have somebody left behind in wolf country. How do you emote? You have to type slash emote and then the emote you want to do. that in there in case anyone is not watching or listening. You can set hotkeys, I believe, or macros with control M, which will allow you to make a hotkey for it. What's the weather up here, by the way? Okay, 10 degrees. We're okay. Still no sight of a story all. Alright, if you two want to wait up here, I'm just going to go back and see if we can find our dear friend Lost it again. Getcha. I'll give you some hints if needed. Nowhere on the map you are. Need to get close enough to get your little. Your pin. Yes, please eat berries that won't kill you. 700, 110. Okay. This way. Positive 110? Oh my goodness, where are you? How did you get over there? <laughs> so you were ahead of us. I thought you were behind.
Have you checked the last clue location after Jim Beber and I found it? I have not. Okay. So folks who are up on the uh, on the mountain, uh, Sturiel is actually way ahead, not behind. And I lost you. I am just in pure whiteness right now. Okay, yeah, Sturiel is way ahead. Actually, oh yeah, you're you're actually not where the trees are at all. Hi! <laughs> the story, all the trees never came down into the valley. So they're still up on the mountain. If you if you head up the mountain, probably you'll you'll find each other. The two of you who are waiting at the top, you can you can carry on. We'll all find each other, I hope. Put this way. You really have to be pretty close to people to uh See their little end on the map, huh? Let me just go back and... You adopted a Rufty! Yay! <laughs> Carry on, then. I'll come back and, and find you guys. Name tanks are glitchy. Yeah, that's, that's right. Sometimes I've definitely seen people really far away. You, guys, you, 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 you three are up here, then. C A Jenks. But I'm stuck in a tree. Found the tree again. Alright, so Sterl, if you wait where you are, the others will bring or will will come, I think. Oh boy. In the clouds is real hard. Jenks is way ahead. Barrowsong and Rufty are coming. Hey, carry on. Ignore me. I'm not helping, I'm just watching. Well, I helped a little bit, because Sterial completely lost the path. Only seemed fair. Once you come out of the clouds, I think it gets a little bit easier to see. Sort of a hard line. I guess it doesn't get easier to see, but... Leap of faith. <laughs> yeah, you really can't see up in the mountains. Again, when I placed these trees originally as clues, you could see like 100 blocks easily, 200 blocks easily. Because there's basically no fog. The fog was turned off. All right, I need to slow down. You can see... Much harder it is to navigate with the fog turned on. I'll run after him. I believe that's Jenks ahead, and then Asteriel shouldn't be too far, too much further. It is wild up here. Yes, Stereo can see Jenks. The group is almost reunited. And it feels so good. I'm just, I'm just gonna fly. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yay! Name tag in the distance. Look at the way the lights glow in the fog. They don't help all that much. <laughs> Yay! Leading to death due to falls and rams. Oh no! I will say, for morale's sake, you're not that far from the end now. This is, this is honestly really cool to watch. Feels a bit like doing the vintage story events again. Watching people, recording them. Although I'm not recording, well, I'm streaming, and the stream is being recorded. And will be on YouTube afterwards. If anyone doesn't know that, I'll put all my streams on YouTube. They'll go up in usually two or three days. I can't put them up right away because there's, like, rules, exclusivity stuff from Twitch. I have to keep it Twitch only for 24 hours, 48 hours, something like that. Making their way. It's the 
back a little bit. When you get to lower elevations, it gets less foggy. The lower down they go, the easier it will be to spot the next tree. I hope the like stream compression doesn't completely ruin this. This is actually quite a cool effect in the fog. The fog in this game is actually quite quite cool, for the most part. It just does make it harder to navigate, obviously. We got one, two, three. Hold on, we missing one again? Yep. Who's back here? Whoops. Who got, who got stuck? Thanks. Oh. That's clearly some kind of desync. Hopefully you're actually... Catch up to the others. Yeah, okay, I see four name tags now. to make some of those some more of those rainy one hour videos that's a nice shot right there oh of course I can't see their name tags that's something that I asked um, the developer for the ability to turn off the HUD without disabling people's name tags I've not been given it or frogs Now oh, we arrive at this one. Wolves ahead. Papa C20X6. That's a new name. I haven't seen anyone here before. So this is the clue. Chalked onto the tree. Husband. Oh, okay. Cool. That sounds fine to me. Cool, cool, cool. So I don't want to go too far here because I have a waypoint on this map, which will... The light source in that place is broken. Oh, that's right. I tell you what, hold on a s- well... Alright, hold on a second. Probably gonna be full of, like, nightmare drifters. You want to watch them coming down. The bioluminescent waters. Or... phosphorescent? I don't like that, uh... Okay. I'll just place a lantern. You're good to go, folks. I don't like that if you're not flying, even in creative mode, when you're underwater, it, uh... It slows down your, your camera. Like, it's a cool effect, but when you're in creative mode, you don't necessarily want that to happen. So, here's what they find. Now, the final clue is no longer here, of course. Welcome! It's totally a uh, total coincidence that the water here is, has the little bioluminescent particles, by the way. Um, so, originally, there was some loot in this, this chest. And uh, then, on this bookshelf over here, there was a book which gave instructions for how to summon Sesvain Palace from the other server which they found, and they did. Obviously, there's no more loot here. Oh no, Mushroom! Oh no, Pixel! What happened? Oh dear. Thank you. Uh, I think I had a, like a broken Jonas lamp in here. As the light source, right? So let's... I think that was like that, right? I think that's mine. There we go. So I don't have to leave my lantern down here. <laughs> but your friend jumps off a roof for you gonna do too. <laughs> Apparently. So yeah, uh, this was really cool by the way. The protective suit looked like a perfect little like uh, underwater suit. Obviously keep in mind that with the 1.19 changes, if you break anything in here, it'll probably shatter. But if you make glue, you can 
you can fix a lot of it and actually pick it up if you want to. I think Gem Remember said that he wanted to maybe do something with this dome. Uh, I had a lot of fun building, so this is the kind of stuff that you can't do in survival mode. If I want to make stuff like this for you guys, I have to be in creative mode. I don't know why I'm trying to justify myself to my server. I can do what I want. But, uh, found that suit in another room he really wants to get. Cool. So yeah, this was, this was the end goal, basically. There was a book on the shelf, which I believe they didn't find for a little while, because they thought they were expecting it to be in the chest. Um, and the, the book explained, um, how to summon the castle. They had to put, like, a temporal gear in a chest, and then surround it with lightning rods, and then it would come in. Alright, um, the latest quest is back at spawn. So, when folks are, are there's nothing else here, as far as, um, loot. So, thank you all for coming and checking this out. It was more fun to watch people actually do it than to just show it off myself, right? I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna set the weather back to a light rain. Do you remember has the book? Yeah, I think so. I am moving, but it's just blackness under the water. Oop. Are you moving faster than me? I'm in creative mode. There we go. Alright. Oh, it's getting dark as well. Alright, I'm gonna set the rain back to a light rain as it was. Oh, the raft. Okay. And then Sesvain Castle is over there. That's where they decided to summon it. So actually... I'll tell you what. I'll set down some rafts for anyone who wants them, and you can take the uh, the channel back to spawn. And then there's the new quest, which nobody has, has touched yet, I think. If anyone needs a raft, go ahead and grab one. If you head west, there is the channel that leads back to spawn. Has everyone got a raft? Who needed one? Looks like it. <laughs> They're all speeding along. Race! And of course the sun is setting again. I'm gonna win. Oh, actually, no. What am I doing? Oh no, the uh, creative mode speed boost doesn't apply to rats, apparently. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Oh, maybe not. Fun little adventure. Anyway, yeah, when when I was trying to think of a way to... Okay, Historial, how come you're going faster than me? <laughs> I got move speed up at maximum. Alright. This is, this is fun and all. Secrets. You got X skill stuff, don't you? You're gonna follow along this... Uh, Channel here. We can just go up and over. I'm gonna head to. I could just teleport, of course, but I like following following the canal on the map. There is very impressive. I'm gonna go into um, Mushroom Market, and I'm gonna run to the toilet very quickly, actually, because all this drinking I've been doing. Seems like a good moment where I can, I can run and pee real quick. <laughs> Usually I would just hold it till the end, but, you know. I have a good moment here. <laughs> Godmo can never beat the power of swimming really fast. Alright, uh, don't start the quest in case you get here before I do. I don't think you will. I will be right, right back. Aha! I win! I got back first. Shockingly. Can't even see them on the map. So, uh, to explain for folks who are watching, 
there was a request made, so I said I can I can set up some admin shops. Of course, I wash my hands, Sparrow. I'm just very very fast. Um. So yeah, with the Vinconomy mod, I can set up admin shops. So I can put whatever I want in them as like in creative mode, and set whatever price I want, and then when the players pay, the money is just deleted. So it's a way of getting money out of the economy, right? Um, I don't need it anymore. So I asked what people would want to have like an infinite supply of, and the first answer I got was sand, because sand is kind of a pain to get. It's not renewable. You have to go mess up a desert to get it. So um, I said, all right, let's set it up, but I'm not just going to give you a sand market. You got to earn it, right? The same way they had to earn getting Sesame and Palace in here. So I'll just show the, the viewers at home. Um, I didn't make any kind of pretty build, very obviously, because I'm not very good at building this kind of stuff. If anyone wants to set up a, a prettier sort of market stall for sand, please feel free to. Uh, or, you know, let me know and so we don't have a free-for-all. I can remove all of these, like, shop items and let somebody build and then put them back after. Um, but the issue is, it's it's not open yet. So opening soon, Sand in My Eyes, is the name I gave to it. And, uh, basically, where's the sand? Uh, I also told everyone on the Discord that I will add any type of sand they want to the shop, but they have to first provide a crate of 512 sand, which is eight stacks of that particular type. So if they want granite sand or granite sand in here, then they need to give me eight stacks of granite sand, and then I will consider that stocked, and then I'll put like an infinite amount in here. So um, it's now up to you to figure out where why there's no sand here. There is a, I did say there's a, um, there's a missing supply cart that was supposed to stock the shop with the initial, uh, all right, have, have, have a good one, Pixel. To have a good, uh, uh, to have a, I just mixed up like three sentences at the same time. <laughs> um, they can get a jump start on the first few types of sand. They were supposed to be delivered here, but we don't know where the deli delivery is. So they need to, if they can find the lost supply cart, it will give them the first few types of sand without them having to go destroy a bunch of deserts. So I don't really want to give any more clues. You're just going to have to investigate and see what you can figure out. Serial is approaching the bookshelf. Making books. Actually, I can... Oh, oh no, it only copies the shelf, okay. So just share with everyone what, what you read in the books. Or once you've read them, I can I can grab them. This should be a much shorter... Well, I imagine this will be a shorter quest than the previous one was. Directly south of the Redwoods is Discount Shopping. Discount Shipping, yes. Right. I'm just gonna show uh, on stream. Actually, I can I can copy these by doing this. Someone will throw the other book on the shelf there. I'll uh, top ledger. Oh, Story has got the other one. Just so that people watching at home can see. So the this one said. Where is the shipment? The sand was supposed to be delivered a week ago. Can't open a shop with no stock. Never hiring that delivery company again. I guess you really do get what you pay for. And the other one says, You can trust Fancy Jack's Discount Shipping. Conveniently located directly south in the Forest of Redwoods. You won't find a cheaper shipper company. We guarantee it. Alright. There's your clue. It's not the, uh... Maybe not quite as epic as the previous, previous one. But I only had like an hour, I do want to say, I only had like an hour to set this quest up, so... Love to get involved later if you haven't already done it. That's alright. Love having you here. You have a good rest of your Sunday. Story says, seems like the Redwoods on the other side of the tunnel. Jenks! Follow 
Mysterio seems to be taking the lead. Also, if, if folks want to sleep, I can throw down a bed at any time. It is very dark now. <laughs> Unfortunately, the nights are very dark. Quest to a sand shop at Super Create Hall. Thank you. I just like making quests for people, Elder Road. I, uh... I was doing the official Vintage Story events for a while, but they take a lot more time. I'm fine with sleeping. I can cheat in a bed here. Another block somewhere. There we go. I'm asleep. I'm, I'm sleepy. Okay, dry lips. I'm gonna put Vaseline on them. And now I have put Vaseline on them. Sturiel, what is the floating in the air above you there? You look like ears. Is it like a bugged version of the new clothing they're making? Who's not sleeping? There was something in the air above you. It's, it's not there now. Is it? What are we waiting for? The animated. <laughs> there we go. Wonder if there is. There probably is a mod that, like, lets just one player sleep or something. Well, of course, we don't want to add too many mods. The, uh. Hey, there we go. Much easier to see now. We'll follow Stereo. I think he might be the only one left on the quest, Stereo. I don't know if anyone else was going to come. Of course, I didn't realize when I was setting up this little quest, because again, I had like an hour and I was like frantically trying to build everything. Could be the ones on the mountain to the right. Um, I didn't realize until I had built part of it that several players were actually quite close to me because <laughs> they were building this canal. <laughs> and I just wasn't paying attention. I was like, gotta build, gotta build, gotta build. Quick, 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 quick. I don't know if anyone actually saw me doing anything. We shall see. There are a lot of wolves and bears that spawn in this area, though. Hasty soil. You eating dirt? Follow cool. behind Astoriel, who is faster than me. here. Death cat mushrooms, which will also kill you, much like the poisonous berries. <coughs> That's why I keep having a drink. It's very dry in here. We had a couple of really, really warm days, and then today it kind of dropped back off and was getting cooler again, so... Heat's still running and drying this place out. Fortunately, redwood forests are quite dense. Oh no! It's hanging out with- oh no! <laughs> Rufty! I don't know why we're getting so many ghosts. I have seen multiple ghosts today. Not sure why it's happening so much. On your way, okay. Jinx is on the way. So we are currently, uh... We go straight south through the tunnel and then kind of keep going south around the Redwood Forest. That's where I'm following Asterial at the moment.
comes through. All the mushrooms in this game are real types of mushrooms, right? Never seen most of them in real life before. What's this? Bitter Nightshade. Uh, I don't think you can eat those. Ooh. Look at that. Delicious. Ooh, I see name tags. Gangs back together. Oh, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Hello. Don't follow me. I'm just watching. I'm just watching. I will not help. Puppy. Watch out for the puppy. He's a little bit bitey. Did they make wolves slower? This whole area is... Uh, I, I had considered originally putting spawn here, but there is so infested with wolves. Just ridiculously infested. And I was like, I don't want to do that to my players. So... Clue? Uh, I've got the book right here. So the first clue was, where's the shipment? The same was supposed to be delivered a week ago. I can't open a shop with no stock. I'm never hiring that delivery company again. Guess you really do get what you pay for. And the second book said, you can trust Fancy Jack's discount shipping, conveniently located directly south in the forest of Redwoods. You won't find a cheaper shipping company. We guarantee it. Ooh, in a hole. <laughs> I imagine that may not have been intentional. I'm just following you. Many wolves, yes. Many, many wolves. This whole area is infested. I actually used this area to... to uh... You were looking for the shop in a hole? That could be in a hole. Why not? Yeah, I used this area to test the Sammies to make sure that they are actually working in this version. <laughs> I plopped a couple down, killed the wolves, and checked to see if there was any uh, wolf spawns. And when there wasn't, I was pretty sure that the Sammies were working. What do we have here? Fancy Jack's Discount Transport. You found it. Where does Sturry all go? Oh, over there. Book. Thanks, has found a book. Come on, me. Here. Speaking the ceiling. Actually, if you if you uh, shift right click and place the book on the ground, I can pick up a copy of it. There we go. Thank you. Just so that the stream the stream viewers. Can, can read the book. So the book says, I've had it. I've complained repeatedly about the lack of maintenance on the wagon wheels, and guess what? One of them broke in the middle of a job. I left the wagon in the granite desert to the northwest. Go get it yourself if you want it. I quit. Somebody was not happy. Working at Fancy Jack's. I'll be honest with you, I had a lot of fun making this little building. <laughs> and now you see the the the... You can even see on the map already, the mini-map. The canal is right there, and you were you were digging that canal and filling it with water as I was building right here. I was like, oh no! <laughs> I hope they didn't see. I'm quite proud of the leak in the, in the roof, actually. That took some, uh, never noticed. I had to put some water up here under the roof but I had to box it in because the roof blocks are not solid blocks, so the water goes straight through them. Quite proud of this one, I'll be honest with you. For, for the amount of time I had, I thought it turned out all right. Also, shout out to the game, the game developers for these support beams. They let you do so many fun things. All right, did someone put the book back? Good question. I don't think so. want to order some shipping here at Fancy Jack's?
Alright. Northwest. <laughs> I love how you kind of went like, uh, this way. <laughs> now, does anyone know where there is a desert to the northwest? Because I think people have, some people have passed it in making their bases. I'm not sure if everyone knows where. Directions are hard. That's why we have the, the, the glorious mini-map. The canal is fun, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna fly a little bit. I'll meet you on the other side, folks. Was that? Sterile thinks he... Okay. I'm not gonna open my map because... I think I put down waypoints so I wouldn't forget where everything was. And... Spoilers. Can watch them come out the tunnel. Grab the wheel. <laughs> I will say, unfortunately, um, yay, here they come, <laughs> b-roll, unfortunately this game still doesn't give us functional wagons, so you will not actually be able to uh, use a wagon to transport anything back, great b-roll, there's still two more of you, how'd you get so far apart, oh right, because it's still, oh, brain lag. <laughs> I love how it just shows you just sort of standing upright in the water. Taking a jog. <laughs> Alright. Jenks. We got Rufty. Story all gone on ahead. Yeah, goofy animations. I mean, what do we. We can't expect too much, can we? Where did a story all go? Going on ahead, I guess. Mm. Ooh, my poor wrist. It's making all kinds of clickety clackety noises. You don't want that. West edge of the crater. Oh, there's some puppies over here. Little little puppy. <laughs> no one's gonna go over and pet the doggy. Yo, Rufty's going for it. Oh, uh oh. Doggy wants to play. Not that much though. Did the did their attack range get nerfed? Surely that's not a vanilla thing. It must be one of the mods doing that. The developers would never nerf the wolves. They love the fact that wolves kill everyone. here? Rufty vanished before my very eyes. Am I having some, some desync or something? <laughs> Whose house is this, by the way? He needs to ask. But he started building a lovely house here. Wish I'm gonna hop off. Alright. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Did Rufty just turn invisible? Also, where's this Turiel? <laughs> oh, I see somebody over here. I do not consent. Ah, okay. Is this a Turiel? No, Rufty. That's a Turiel, okay. Where'd Rufty go? Back? Right here? Is Rufty invisible to me? <laughs> Oh boy. Rufty has, has become invisible to me. It happened on camera. Did anyone see that? I was watching Rufty and then poof. Right next to Jenks. I mean, I believe you. I have no reason not to trust you. I love these cliffs by the water, by the way, but they do make it tough to get down on the staircase. But he's built it. Having all the technical issues. I mean, we had much worse technical issues last time. A 
could be worse. Hey, Papa. Hello. Welcome to the server. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna follow Jenks. I don't know, should I re-log? It'll only take a second. Alright, don't go too far. I'm just gonna quickly jump off and back on. I feel bad that we can't see Rufty. We can do this. We can make this happen. Hopefully my client doesn't get too laggy because I'm opening and closing the world. I do think there's some kind of memory leak. Because if I open and close a world too many times, or jump on and off a server too many times, it starts getting unplayably laggy. Jenks? Rufty, I can see you again! Huzzah! Alright. Carry on. Your name tag over here, is that a story L? Yay! Name tag in the distance. This is Sturiel. You're way ahead. Goodness. Checking through Wolf Country as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna kinda stay between... Who he is here. Oop. Oh boy. Is Rufty invisible again? Oh no. Either you're invisible or he fell way behind, I'm not sure. Oop, there's a wolf. <laughs> okay, not invisible. We'll have to keep heading west wherever you are, bud. and see if I can find Rufty. Ah! Might still be down trying to find a way up the cliff. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's go above the trees. <laughs> Rufty, are you down here? Rufty! Gone. No Rufty. Maybe, uh, maybe Rufty disappeared for everyone this time. <laughs> Although I would expect I would at least still be able to see chat. I gotta catch up to the others. Moving so fast. Okay, there we go. Name tags. I only see a Sturiel now. I think that's. Oh no, that's Jenks. That's a lot of chickens. Bad. Oh, so laggy. We do also have a lot of people online in different parts of the world. Everybody got separated. Rufty, where are you? I could see you for like 12 seconds.
I don't want to open up my mini map or my full size map now because I don't want to accidentally spoil anything. Oh, there's there's a person. What we got we got a cereal. Okay. I don't know what happened to Rufty. Stuck on the mountain. Oh no. If you head west. Oh, somebody's fenced in some uh, goats. So somebody's been here before. This was not my doing. This is not part of the quest. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say this is not part of the quest. I don't know who fenced in the goats. Where'd Jenks go now? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Rufty, if you're watching the stream, if you can see my coordinates, if you make your way this way, hopefully you'll be able to rejoin everyone. Found it! You found it! And... Just... Copy that for everyone. I'm less proud of this than I am of that little house, but I didn't know how to build a wagon, so I, I did my best. So the book, which uh, Jenks is probably pulling out of there. It's no use. The axle is shattered. Curse these rocky deserts. Whole shipment is stuck here now. I'm not being paid enough to deal with this. I'm walking back home before I run out of water. So that's it. What we got here? Create a phyllite sand. Create a bauxite sand. Create a basalt sand. Create a sandstone sand. And the beginnings will create a granite sand. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to repair this wagon. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you, you can't you can't repair the wagon because the wagon doesn't work because it's uh, you know it's, it's it's just the structure. We don't have actual wagons in the game, so it will be up to you guys to find a way. You know, you can dismantle the wagon, you can leave it here for other people to find whatever you want to do. However, the uh, the crates of sand are yours. <laughs> yeah, I and mean, if they would give us working wagons, that would be great, but they have not done that. So if you can find a way to get these crates of sand back to the mushroom market and leave them at the sand shop, I will add each type of sand here to the shop for purchase. I still have to figure out how much they're going to cost, but I'll leave that up to you folks. Uh, Rufty, I'm going to teleport to you. Um, so we can see where, where, you, where you got stuck. I will remind you that we do have uh, carry on as well. Hey, Rufty's making their way over. Huzzah! Go to your north, Rufty. Go bad, you got stuck for so long. It's, it's this way. Uh, and you can carry crates, by the way, with carry-on. So if you have two empty hands and you shift, hold, right, click, you can pick up a crate, but it will slow you down. And it's perfect timing as well, because it's it's end of stream time. You can't put them on your back. I never tested this. Oh, you're right, you can't. So, you want to carry the crates back, you're going to be slow. Maybe one person can carry and another person can guard. Or you can move them into other things. It's 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 up to you how you want to do it. Um, but you did it! Yay, you completed the quest! Congratulations, everybody. I'm so proud of you. 
It was a little bit of a simpler quest than the other one, but, you know, again, I had an hour to prepare this, so I think I did pretty well under the circumstances. <laughs> cool. Um, that's the end of the stream as well. That's it. It's 10 o'clock for me. It's whatever time it is for the rest of you. Um, you took the wagon off, thanks. I, 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 I'm happy with the, the broken axle. That's all chiseled, but the rest of the wagon is... It's all right. It's all right. Um, <laughs> so, um, thank you people for watching the stream. I'll put the, the, the things, the, the, uh, is it this? Yeah, there we go. There's all my things. Uh, streams go to YouTube after a couple days. Uh, Discord is open for everybody. Patreon is, uh, how you get on the server. It's only a dollar per month or more if you want, but, uh, just to cover the server and everything. Uh, everybody have a great... Sunday. And then my meds are wearing off. <laughs> See you next week, I hope. Bye, everybody. Bye.